Ladies and gentlemen, how are y'all doing? It's the one and only Monden Lofu, billionaire from Alex, and today, guess what? I'm back again in Alex, guys. I love this township, Gaslam, Mulan Kulele Corner, guys. So I'm gonna be showing you a beautiful home owned by two of my grandparents, should I say. Don't worry about whether they're my relatives or my real, real grandparents. They are very old elders, guys. To see such a beautiful home in the township is something that I can, wow, I can only clap hands for, guys. So I hope you're gonna enjoy it. This is a two bedroom house with one beautiful bathroom. Nice decorations, I love. There's a mixture of old school and new, new school styling in the dining area and also in the kitchen how about we go check it out let's find out how it looks eh so guys as we are about to enter this home we get uh, a taste of just uh, the door that they have here you can see it's got the old school bell if you want to knock hey hi sa seven sa seven guys these are the old school kind of bells that people used to use when they wanted to knock on someone's door so we can see the first part of the home is actually the kitchen, right? So this is a beautiful, beautiful kitchen in terms of their styling, right? So this color is more of on the white side, right? So it's a, got a bit of an old school feel. Nice, beautiful wall unit there. Look at those lovely glasses. Saved for special occasions, I think. And you've also got some nice, nice, nice liquid stay. I think this is for salad dressing or something. If I'm wrong, guys, please tell me in the comments. We are together, all right? You can see there, the dishes have been done as well. People take care of themselves, guys. I love these bar chairs as well. It's good if you want to have a quick breakfast, you know, and then get yourself the right nutrients before the start of the day. There's a nice plate stove there. All fitted in wonderfully into the wall unit. It's good to see. And I can like the nice little waves of some sorts here on the tiles. Just adds that bit of style, you know? Don't just make them plain. These are not plain people that are here. Beautiful fridge right there in the corner. If you want some food, guys, tell me. What's your favorite food? So we're about to go up. There's a bit of a step here that leads us into the dining room. Now, where do you think I'm gonna go from here, guys? Dining, bedroom, or bathroom? Which one would you like to see? Wait. Oh, someone left their head there, guys. These are some beautiful chairs here on this dining. Love it. If you want to have that family meeting, Yana, there. They call people like us before it starts, you know? Because we are the ones that got the money. Plus, we are educated. A family meeting cannot start without us. So, guess where I'm going to go, guys? Let's take an unusual corner. Let's go to the bathroom of this house. What's the time there? Ooh, quarter to 12. What have you done so far with your day, guys? Almost halfway through. What have you done? Have you achieved your goals? Now, here's a person who's achieved their goals. This is what their bathroom looks like, guys. Beautiful tiling. Peach with some roses, kind of like decoration on the tiles. You can see you've got the salts, the crystals that are used as well for the bathing there. Nice orange towel for you to use, you know, when you're done with your bathing. Ooh, this is a different kind of mirror. I'm yet to see a mirror like this in a bathroom, guys. How do you feel about this mirror? Would you have it in your home as well? And then you've got some green on the basin, on the toilet, and you've also got the green on the bathtub as well. This is that old school bathtub. I remember I also used to have one in my previous house where I grew up, guys. I'm also on the road to buying a house pretty soon. What house do you think I should buy? This is very uncommon. A green bathtub, green toilet, and green basin. What do you think of this color, guys? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it sucks? What's your take? This is a beautiful, beautiful bathroom though. I like it, it's unique. Not the ones we usually see. So this is old school. I did tell you that there's a blend of old school styling and also some modern architecture as well on this house. But this has been the bathroom, guys. Do you like this color green or you prefer to use another color? Do let me know, all right? So I, as I told you, I'm gonna do things in an uncommon way. I'm gonna start with the bedroom for the kids or maybe one that is usually used for the guests because these are people who actually like to host 
um, maybe they are church friends and just number of friends. This is a very well-known uh, couple here that resides in Alex, right? So you can see this has been neatly set up for us. It's like Beba Zutin Yazabu. Now when I come to your house, guys, you must make sure put your own point. Nice, lovely mirror. Check it yourself. Who's what? Nice, lovely mirror for the guests to see themselves when they're done wrapping or before they go anywhere. And then look at this, guys. A bit of purple, red. Hey, it's like you feel like you're a king or a queen here when you sleep on this bed. These are all royal colors, guys. Love the nice old school headboard as well. These things will never go out of style, depending on when you were born. And then you can even see the, the, head, the mirrors as well. This is some old school decoration. You can even see the chair that has been hidden underneath this decoration as well. Let's do some checking here. You know, Chama boys always do the most. I think I'm again an abandona, guys. <laughs> some nice artwork here as well look at that you can see some trees it looks like a bit of a desert or some sort but beautiful artwork guys what do you think about this decoration this is old school thing or maybe take away from this room do let me know in the comment section there i do really really want to know so we are about to just pass the dining area but before we do that i like here with these sticks which are very much in fashion who can tell me what's the purpose of these sticks i would really like to know i know they make was it is it useful it's a big plate i'm now into main bedroom right where i want to sleep because there's two rental rooms outside the house This is not the usual headboard that you see right this is more modern you can even relax you can put your back you know have some nice breakfast in bed for those of us who are romantic like me you can surprise your partner there with a nice breakfast in bed and you don't need to actually put your back on the wall you know start feeling cold or start having back problems like that this is beautiful guys i love it i love it nice mats even there on the ground you know Make sure that you can step on while you just wake up there. See some artwork again, beautiful flowers. You know, this is always good to increase your property value, guys. This is so beautiful. And then once we move on here, you can see the mirror as well. Mirror, mirror on the wall. I hope I'm at 2000 Agnes, right? So now this is the mirror that, where you can actually check yourself out before you just go to work or you've got that business meeting or the wedding got all the time in the world to check yourself out on this lovely mirror and while you're doing that there's a nice clock to remind you even of your time you know ladies don't spend too much time on the mirror so make sure you do your thing quick 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 and then we're out this is the main bedroom guys and i hope you do enjoy it and if you want a house like this as well guys or anything in terms of the features that you've seen in this house do let me know my details are just in the description section right there you can dm me or you can email me and do let me know for all your property inquiries do let me know and i'll do the best for you look at this lovely wardrobe here simple neat big wardrobe you know guess there's a lot of clothing there what kind of clothing do you think is in there do you think there's some old school blouses do you think there are some stilettos do you think there's crocodile and jones what do you think is there do let me know in the comment section 
now finally guys i'm about to enter the last part of this lovely home in alex right you can see the old school usage of the decoration that is actually here right even the tv is old school thought i'd find a 52 inch blesmanyan but you can see these are people who like their old school ways this is beautiful by the way strong quality doesn't get broken easily right and then you move on to the lovely couches let me sit down on one of them <laughs> wow look at those couches guys i love the red look at the cushions as well aren't they so beautiful Ooh, i can see they look at the phone it's got the pride colors we just came from pride month are you embracing pride month guys what's your take on it look at those couches lovely and then you got a tinge of a black there the black cushion and that little blanket there what does it look like looks like a long scarf what is it guys you let me know so you can see if you're sitting from the couch there you can have a nice little chat with someone who's in the kitchen over there because there's a bit of a knock and then one thing i do also like is the ceiling here i like the gold that is there you know as i said you feel like a king i think this is living up to the personality of the owners of this house you know you've got some very strong colors you got the red you got the purple you got the gold as well Just to let you know that you are entering a palace of some sorts right here in alex so guys this has been the one and only billionaire from alex mondendlova i hope you actually do enjoy this house and do let me know man what kind of house would you like to live in one day i'd really really like to know and uh let me know if i can come and actually take a video of your house if you do want to you know i'd like to find out remember this is about telling a story guys it's not really just about property only yes that's the main thing but i do want to know what's your story behind your home you know a home can be the most sentimental part for most people so i do want to know what is your dream home and if you want me to come and take a video of it do let me know and i'll be at your service so this has been your boy and i'm signing out see you next time don't forget to comment like subscribe and share this to your friend so until then have a beautiful beautiful life thank you so much so guys thank you so much for being a part of this video and for watching it please do like comment and subscribe um it's completely free and please share it to your friends and do let me know what's your dream house what kind of a home do you want to live in? And if you want me to come and take a video of your house as well, not a problem, I'll be happy to do that. Remember, this is about sharing a story of inspiration, of hope, and of dedication towards your goal. I'm more interested in the journey that you have taken to actually reach your goal of living in your dream. So do let me know, and uh, do like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. If you hate this, do let me know. I'm more than willing to actually accept your criticism on certain things that I can so for now guys, have the best life and look nicely in your beautiful home. Don't forget all things real estate on Instagram. Follow me on social media, Facebook, Monday Global, Monday Global 7 on Instagram, Monday underscore Global 7 on Twitter. Do make sure you get all the information in the description below for anything that is property related and I'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you so much guys. Have a lovely life ahead of you.